Governor Romney, I'd like to apologize to you. I did you wrong. In a recent TV show, I included a section on political gaffes. And as one example, we played this clip. I like being able to fire people who provide services to me. I like being able to fire people. The political class criticized you for saying that you like to fire people. They called it a gaffe, but it wasn't a gaffe. It was a good point. You were saying it's good if you, not the government or your employer, had the power to pick your health insurance company. Then you could fire an insurance company that doesn't serve you well, or any other company. This is a good and important thing. The right to fire businesses you don't like makes the free market work, makes providers improve. You fire people all the time. We hear about heartless companies, but think how heartless you are. If you get shoddy merchandise, even once, you take your business elsewhere. If you get a bad burger, you don't hesitate to switch to another restaurant. That freedom makes both McDonald's and Burger King try harder. That's why the free market's better than government, because government rarely gives you a choice. If your kid is in a bad public school, you can't fire the school and choose another. Government controls your choices. The same is true for the motor vehicle department. Under Obamacare, you may not be able to fire your doctor. Romney made an important point when he said it's good to be able to fire people who provide services to you. But trying to explain that to some people is like talking to donkeys. See, all you guys want, I, I, you want a handout. I don't have something in it, now you're getting mad again, okay? These donkeys don't live in the United States of France. They live in the United States of America. They're going to have to get with it. Have you ever heard of the Constitution? It's a great document. They keep thinking that Obama's going to take care of them, that Obama's going to feed them, Obama's going to build their barn. See those big ears? Still can't hear me. Unbelievable. That political spin was made by a Texas congressional candidate, and he's favored to win. I prefer his take to my president's, who spins propaganda, says one thing and does another. Listen. We are going to ban all earmarks. He said that, but the first spending bill he signed had more than 9,000 earmarks. Candidate Obama criticized Hillary Clinton for wanting to force people to get health insurance. She believes that we have to uh, force people who don't have health insurance to buy it. She believes in force, a mandate, imagine that. And yet, once elected, he endorsed that. I just wish they'd be honest. Heck, I might even vote for Barack Obama if he'd just say something like this. When I was elected, I promised that I would get a handle on the national debt. But I didn't. I said I'd cut wasteful programs, but I did not. Then I brought together a bipartisan group of really smart people to recommend how to put us on a sustainable course. But then I did not even try to do what they said. Now I realize that we are on the road to bankruptcy, and I will undo my mistakes, I will cut regulation and shrink government spending to Bill Clinton levels. 2.4 trillion in spending is more than enough. <laughs> I can dream, can't I? 2.4 trillion in spending. That would be this huge improvement. But I'm not likely to see that. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Good night.